Hello everybody and welcome back to season 40 of the Pichu London Cup series. Today we're here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway for the running of the Coke Zero Sugar 400. And this is it folks, the regular season finale for season 40. It's the last chance for these guys to get a win um, to get themselves in the playoffs. Before we take you to the starting lineup, let's take you to the pitcher right now in the playoffs so far. So we have 18 winners this season and only 17 are in the playoffs because the 18th winner, of course, is Pichu. And uh, Pichu is not going to be running in the playoffs this season because he's one of my own drivers. And I want to keep things fair to make the championship uh, as fair as possible. The fight for the championship as fair as possible. So Pichu's not in even with the one win. So that means 17 drivers out of the 18 winners are in the playoffs. So what that means is that two drivers, or three even, that do not have a win this season will make it into the playoffs in Season 40 to max out the 20-car field. There you see Rich Roy and Zachary Fitzwater. They're the two highest non-winners in terms of the results. They're the only ones with more than one top two finish in Season 40. So these two would be in... Um, no matter if they if another driver below them wins here this season wins here in coca-cola to get their spot in to the playoffs in season 40 so these two would be in the final two spots and second yeah yeah these two would be in rich Roy would own the tiebreaker in top threes with three to two over the top threes but if fitzwater finishes in the runner-up slot um here today coca-cola he would be ahead of rich Roy in terms of the playoff standings uh somewhat or some way so anyway um yeah but johnny garner could still get in the playoffs as he owns a tiebreaker over lean campana in terms of top five finishes he has four compared to campana's two as they each have a top two finish and two top three finishes uh this season so Garner owns the other tiebreaker in terms of top fives but only Garner gets in the playoffs only if a driver with one win at least this season gets the win at Coca-Cola today. So if I if we have a driver already locked in the playoffs with a win, take the win here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway, then Johnny Garner would be in the playoffs and we had three drivers without a win into season 40's playoff field. So if Johnny Garner wins though, then Rich Roy, Zach Fitzwater, they're still in no matter what. But if Rich Roy, Zach Fitzwater win this race somehow, then guess what? Johnny Garner is in the playoffs in place in the playoffs in terms of the standing. And Lean Campan is only shot is to get a win this season. That's the only way he's going to get in the playoffs is to win this race uh, in Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And the rest of the field, I'm only showing you the drivers that have a runner-up finish this season and the ones that have win a win or two or even three like D J.D. Figueroa in season 40. So those drivers with a win or two or three, they're good to go. They're in the playoffs, but with those without a win, they got hope for the best here at Coca-Cola and hope to get that checkered flag here today to get their, themselves in the playoffs. Johnny Garner can only hope that we have a repeat winner this se in this season at Coca-Cola and that it would not be a unique winner here this season at Coca-Cola. So that he would compete in the playoffs and still keep his championship hopes alive. Or he's just got to flat out win this race somehow. Rich Roy, Zach Fitzwater, they would love to get in on a win though. Not worry about the standing. But we'll see about that. It's going to be a very interesting race here at Coca-Cola. That's for sure. Anyway, on the poll for the race will be the number 10 of Unleash Your Quillies. And alongside him with the 14 of Rich Roy. So Rich Roy's on the front row here today. Has a really good chance to get in on a win here today. And he'll start with it alongside his teammate in number 10. Row 2 with both Penske cars, Sam and Oscon and Max Ferrier. They're both in on wins, so they don't have to worry about it. Dylan Kroom starts row 3. Already has a win this season, so he's also in the playoffs. Christian Vargas, the 27, he's a part-time driver. If he wins, then... Johnny Garner's in the playoffs because part timers cannot get play cannot get playoff spots here in the P in the PLCS I should call it. So if, if Vargas wins, then Johnny Garner would be in the playoffs the theoretically. Same if Eli Bright wins, he'll start row four alongside Carter Friesen. 
Friesen has not won this season, and he looks to win here today. And Cassidy Reynolds and Max Bailey round out your top 10. These two have wins this season, so they don't have to worry about how this race goes down to get into the playoffs. And here's how the rest of the field will line up here in today's race. There's Lean Campana at 32. And there's the rest of the field as we go down. Zach Fitzwater's in that four car here today, along with J.D. Figueroa in the middle row. And there's the rest of the order that are looking to get into the playoffs. Some of them are have don't have wins up to this point and are looking to get in the playoffs with a win here today. We've seen some crazy stuff at Coca-Cola, so who knows what's going to happen next. But anyway, let's take you trackside for the command to fire the engines. So here we go, the cars will roll off the track. It'll be a 22 lap race here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And it'll be the last chance for these guys to get in the playoffs with a win. And there's the rest of the field here today. And Johnny Garner, where's he gonna start? I We didn't even see him. Starts in the middle pack in that 34, hoping to get in the playoffs with a unique, with um, a driver with one or more win wins this season to get um, to win here at Coca Cola, so he can get in the playoffs. Lawson Air is going to play out here in this race. Pace Kirk to pit road. We'll see who get, who's going to take the checkers and who's going to get in the last spots in the playoffs, if any. Here we go. We're underway in the Coke Zero Sugar 400, the regular season finale in season 40. We're underway. Looks pretty good for the number 10 car as he is pulling ahead to the lead. He wants to win this race. He wants to get in on the playoff field. He knows it's going to be a little tough to get in on the playoffs, so he's got to give it all he's got. Johnny Garner right in the middle. I mean, he's got to be real careful. Got to be real careful not to, not to wreck the car. Still might have a chance to win this race. He might still have a chance to get in the playoffs with just a win. And Rich Roy, Zach Fitzwater, they would get the final two spots into the playoff field. Well, Rich Roy, Zach Fitzwater get in either way, but if uh, one of those two win, actually, this race, then Johnny Garner's in, of course. So Garner's got to hope that either Roy or Fitzwater win this race, or there is a driver with already at least one win this season uh, winning here at Coca-Cola. So there's the top five right now. John Andrews going for thir third spot here over the 66 of Carter Friesen. And neither driver has a win, so they would love to get in on the win there. And Freddie Soto, he's in on the win at North Wilkesboro, so in the top five, looks for another one here today. There's Lean Campana. He's going to try everything he can to get to that front, to the front row. 32 car, he knows he needs to win to get in the playoffs. He's been, he's been so close this season. And now the 32 looks to get that playoff spot. Doing any, every, doing, trying to keep staying the draft. He can, so he can get a shot at the number ten, and try to get that win. Here comes the thirty-two. Here he comes in the second spot. He is now in second, and Lean Campana trying to get the lead from the ten as they're wrecking in the back. They are wrecking. The two car goes around, and he's flying. That two car is going really flying quickly. Many barrels down. And thank goodness he didn't hit any of the walls there. That could have been some serious damage there in the two. Well, there's a lot of damage, but it could have been a lot worse. Another crash. Zach Fitzwater's among one of those that crashed. And one car is flying. The three had a hard, the 11 car, I believe, with a hard hit. 
Oh my gosh. Might be a lot of hopefuls and hopefuls involved in those wrecks. And we got to take a look at them. We saw Samad Oscon going flying upside down. Many barrel rolls down. So what happened here is that they were trying to go six wide. And uh, that does not work. And there they go. There's the crash. There's the big one. Zach Fitzwater was among those that weren't that were involved. Thirteen gets thirteen hits him and goes upside down. And there he goes flying all around. And there's that two car flipping and going on many barrel rolls, just flying around. Huge crash on the number two. And thank goodness he did not hit that. He did not go over that fence. And he was able to land right side up safely. And that could have been a lot worse. And another flip. And he goes right side up. Hard crash on the number two car. Then moments later, trouble happens with the 11 of Ethan Sale as he gets into a pile up. Look at them. They were going four wide and they just... Couldn't hang on. Fitzwater contact by Ethan Sale. And then the other cars just go up into the wall. 53 almost went over the catch fence there. And then comes down moments later. And here it comes. The hard hit. There it is. The 18 right into the 11. Goes flying up in the air. Oh boy. And he's upside down. He lands upside down. The 11 car. That was a hard crash. That was pretty scary right there to bring out the caution. But you know, this is a computer game, so everybody's going to be all right. Unlike in real life, you know, but huh, thank goodness, though, this is just a computer game. Anyway, Lean Campan is going to take the lead to, uh, under caution, and they're not going to pit, but some drivers will head to pit road. Probably using different strategies. Freddie Soto leads the field of drivers to pit, but only a few decide to take the gamble. Might be a different strategy for those guys all trying to get in front. But Lean Campana stays out and he'll take the lead. He takes the lead under caution. Just in the nick of time. And look at the drivers out of it. Hawkins is out. Barreto is out. Fitzwater, Kirker, Smart, Oscon, Nantel. Sale, Durani, and Castillo. They have retired. Some of them have wins this season, so they didn't have to worry about Coca-Cola. But the others, like Alex Hawkins, um, Igor Barreto, I believe, and uh, Cody Smart, their playoff hopes have come to an end, unfortunately, in this race, as they will not be able to get th that win to get them into the playoffs. So they are out of the playoffs Maxwell Smart's in. Oh, yeah, Toby Smith, Russell. Kirker's already in. Hawkins is in. I'm sorry, Alex Hawkins is already in the playoffs. I apologize. Barreto isn't in the playoffs, though. Uh, neither is Cody Smart, and neither is Ryan Durani. They're out of the playoffs. The others have at least one win this season, so they, they're okay for the playoffs, but that was a pretty, pretty bad race for them. Probably not the race that they needed to, st to start their playoff journey. But we'll see how this will affect them going forward into the playoffs. As we continue the green flag at Coca-Cola in the regular season finale. 32 lean Campana out in front over Alexander Rowe. And Alicia Cooley's running in third. Top three looking to get into the playoffs with a win. And Christian Vargas and Pichu. If they win, they won't be in the playoffs, but they look to pull off an upset here today. And here comes Alexander Rowe. And this is for the lead. And he's got it. 51 takes the lead. And he is up and running. Let's hope these guys keep it safe. John Andrews in the top five. Here comes Max Ferrier. Looks to go back to back after winning Darlington last weekend. And it would be the third win for the season for him. And another crash in the back. And Rich Roy was in it this time. Huge crash. Rich Roy spins. 
and more cars spinning as the field continues to dwindle here at coca-cola wow another wreck in the same spot my goodness these guys are all trying to get in on the in the playoffs doing whatever they can and they're wrecking each other out they're all trying to do whatever they can to get in on the playoffs and this is where it began rich Hoy and uh, maxwell smart got together with unleash your quillies and they spin and the race for the playoffs man it's getting intense these guys are all trying to get those spots trying to get in on the prime spot to make that move for the win and I'm sure some of these guys will not be able to compete for the win now looks like Max Fair took the lead under caution after the race back to the line it looks like he's out in front and Chris Leone was involved along Cassie Reynolds and drivers are pitting and it looks like the leader is going to be Pichu how about that? Pichu leads. So uh, Dylan Kroom is out. He's in the playoffs. Riley Spurley Tube is out, and he will miss the playoffs. Chris Leon, I believe, will not make the playoffs, so he's out too. And uh, Cassie and Cassie Reynolds made the playoffs with a win this season, so she's good and she's in. But we only have 28 cars on track right now as we are approaching the last laps here at Coca-Cola. And we're back to the green. Pichu leads. Looks to get his second win this season. If he wins, Johnny Garner is in the playoffs. If Pichu wins or Christian Vargas wins or even Max Ferrer win, then Johnny Garner is in the playoffs. And I'm sure Johnny Garner would love to see that. He's running in 10th, believe it or not. He wants to do it his own way. He wants to win this race more importantly, but it's got a long way to go. And here comes Farrier into the lead. And here comes Vargas for the lead as well. And there's Deshaun Clennon trying to compete. Three wide. He's trying to go for it. And look at that. Coca-Cola versus Pepsi here in the top five. How interesting is that? 24 knows he's running a Pepsi car in this in Coca-Cola Super Speedway, but he it doesn't matter He could still win this one Trying to bump his leader out of the way Here comes the 19 Toby Smith is also trying to win and there's Johnny Gardner He definitely wants to do it the old-fashioned way. He wants to get in on the playoffs with a win Doesn't control his own destiny, so he's trying to get in and win this race Getting bumped out of the draft. Christian Russell could, could win this one. 19 is in good hands right now with six to go. Forty-three. Russell in the second. Toby Smith pulls up a bit of a gap, but is it too far? Russell takes the second spot. He's he's catching with the 19. And will Toby Smith win for the second time in season 40? And Christian Russell also looks to win for the second time in season 40. So does Pichu. Now Pichu's going for second. Eight laps to go. No, wait, not eight laps to go. I'm sorry, five laps to go. Five to go. Here comes Campana. Trying to go three wide for second. Trying for a desperation move. And he's got both of them. Now he's trying to catch Toby Smith. Still trying to catch him out of desperation. Here he comes for the lead. Toby Smith and Lean Campana battle for the lead. And he, Lean Campana is going to get it. 32's in front. Four to go. Just four laps left at Coca-Cola. Deshaun Clennon in the 24. Trying to get second spot. There's that 12 Priya McShane. And she knows it's the last chance for Priya to get in. With her teammates Sam and Oscon And Max Ferrier. Here comes Clennon for the lead. 
Can can he take it? With three laps to go, coming to three laps to go, and he will. Looks like Fair might try to help out a teammate here in the 12 car, trying to help that 12 get in the playoffs. Priya McShane in the second spot. She might have a chance to get the lead. Ooh, Pichu nearly going four wide there. She's trying something desperate here to get in front. There's a caution. It would definitely come down overtime here. We've had two wrecks here today. Here comes Gardner trying to get back in the second. John Andrews as well. Might be Coke versus Pepsi here. With two coming to two to go. It's the battle of the soft drinks here in the top three. Only one will come out on top. Two to go. Here comes Gardner for the lead. 24 puts a block. 24 trying to block Gardner, and Gardner, he knows he needs to win this race to get in. Vargas trying to go on the bottom, and here comes Gardner. Trying to take the lead away. And he's going to do it here in turn three. John Andrews catching up. Here we go to the white flag. Next time by with one to go. John Andrews trying to catch Johnny Garner and the white flag is out. Here comes Andrews. Pre McShane also trying to make a move. And the 12 car is slow. 12 car was slow there. They're out running out of gas. Johnny Garner pulls away. And the Coke and Pepsi cars will battle for the second spot. Something must have gone wrong in one of the cars and they might have slowed down. Might be what he needed. Here they come off the final turn. Garner trying to save fuel. Can he make it? Down the line, here comes the three. But Johnny Garner's going to win here at Coca-Cola to get himself in the playoffs. And Garner wins it. Johnny Garner gets the win. 34 is in the playoffs. He makes it. Johnny Garner makes the playoffs. <coughs> that was a desperation there on the final lap by the three, but Johnny Garner makes it in the playoffs. I'm not even sure what happened there. Why these cars slowed up. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think they were reacting to the cars that came off pit road there, and that's why they were slowing down. I thought one of them ran out of gas. Johnny Garner, though, was able to pull away from them and get the win. He somehow managed it. He did an excellent job in doing that. How about that? A&W beats out Coca-Cola and Pepsi cars to win, the, to win a Coca-Cola Super Speedway. What are the odds of that ever happening? I mean, wow. But the 34 car, A&W, gets the win here today at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And more importantly, Johnny Garner is, is going to make the playoffs here in Season 40. So he's the one that takes the car to victory lane here today, and he makes the playoffs on the win. And that means that Rich Roy and Zachary Fitzwater will be in the playoffs in season 40 on their results. So those are the last three drivers that will make the playoffs here in season 40. We'll show you the playoff picture at the end. But first here are the results from Coca-Cola. As Johnny Gardner is back in victory lane. Back on top here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Really needed a lot of help to get that win. But sure enough, gets it done. And Johnny Garner will be in the playoffs once again to compete for another championship in Season 40. How about that? Johnny Garner, I mean, he waited a long time to get back into the playoff pitcher. And he had to wait till the last moment to get in. But he did it. And with that win, he has now broken the tie with Jacob Lawler in terms of victories. And now we could say that he is officially the all-time wins leader in Pichu London Cup Series history with 29 career wins. So he has now break, broken the tie with Jacob 
Lawler as the winningest driver in the Pokemon in, in the Pichu London Cup series. So he has now breaking that broken that record. He would be third overall realistically on the list. As Leia Walker has two more wins um, than Johnny. And Pichu, of course, has nine more wins than Johnny. But he is the all-time leader among um, drivers, not among not among original drivers, I would say. Johnny Garner is the all-time leader now in the Pichu London Cup Series. We 29 career wins now here in the Pichu London Cup Series. Now he looks to win another championship. Already has two to his name in the series history back when it was the Pokemon Cup Series. And he could still win under the Pichu London Cup Series. And he would go for a third title. And now he has the chance to do so here today. So Johnny Garner with that, with that win, it's his 29th of his career. And that means he again has broken the tie with Jacob Lawler as the winningest driver, original driver I would say, in the Pichu London Cup, in the Pichu London Cup Series. So congratulations to Johnny Garner becoming the winningest driver in the series history with 29 career wins, not counting Leia Walker with 31 and Pichu with 38, but Garner the high, the winningest driver, original driver in this in the league history and broken the tie with Jacob Lawler. So congrats to him on becoming a goat here basically in this series. So he he still is he's not done though. He still has 10 more races to get another win or two. And maybe even get another championship. So who knows? Johnny Garner could be another, could have another championship to his name. Uh, we have ten races to decide who who's going to be your champion for season forty. But I hope you enjoyed our race from Coca Cola, and the playoffs will be will be starting up on our next race. So the playoffs will begin in our next race, and I hope you enjoyed our regular season journey. And we will show you the playoff field um, when we're done. So we know exactly who's in the playoffs. So hope you enjoyed our race and we will see you guys next time when the playoffs begin.